big one, but we came way up here on Lake Gunnersville. Fishing's tough on the main lake, and we're just trying to have some fun, and that one came on the Berkeley Havoc Papa Sick Fish. So I love throwing swim baits. I can't get too many bites on them on the main lake. I'm coming up river, and I'm gonna try and catch some. That's a good start. All right, cool. Well, it is middle of November, and really it's a tough time on Gunnersville. All the grass on the main lake, all the mats and stuff are pretty much gone now. They've been blown away, current's been really strong, washed away, and the fish are kind of, I mean, November and December historically are tough, but they're, in my opinion, uh, in a transition from where they were living all up in the grass to uh, moving out to the outer edges of the grass and getting away from all the mats that are gone now. So it's tough fishing on the main lake. I love coming up the river this time of year because generally there's more fish that bite up here. It's kind of like where I fished in the Delta. You know, I, I have a lot of fun fishing way out west in the Delta, but you can't really win tournaments out there. So same deal here. Um, you know, it's, it's 15 to 17 pounds is pretty good up here. But right now 20 pounds on the main lake is good. And if you had a multiple day tournament coming up here catching 15 pounds three days in a row would be really solid. So we're just up here having some fun. There should be more biting fish. And uh, we're gonna try and catch some more on a swim bait and some new Berkeley hard baits. We'll see what we can do today. But it's just nice to be up here. So nobody ever comes up here. Oh my God. Did you see that? Nobody saw that? Right there. God, he smoked it too. Yeah. <laughs> See how hard he with that thing? Look how good he's hooked right there. That's awesome. Another one on the Papa Sick Fish. Like I said, it's, you know, it's tough on the main lake at Gunnersville right now. And if you just want to have some fun, uh, you can come up the river here. But even if you're not at Gunnersville, we're just swimming this swim bait. <clears throat> this is a Havoc Papa Sick Fish, and we are just swimming it down the edges of grass. And you know, there's some bait and shad running the edges, and just freaking awesome bite. You can't beat the bite. It's so hard, and I mean, I feel like everybody in the world could see that thing just smack your rod. They hit it so hard. So, a lot of fun. So uh, you're about to jump, dude. <laughs> We're fishing in this uh, little creek right here. You can see, you know, maybe not with the camera, but in my eyes, I can see the main river and the current out there, and it's really flowing, you know, pretty quick. And it has been for a while now. And, that's the reason I started this morning in this little creek is I wanted something with less current as fast as it's been out there. Uh, I'm sure there's fish out there, but I felt like they would kind of school up or congreg congregate in this area because it's a big eddy for them, you know, and they don't have to sit out there and fight that current as much. So uh, something to pay attention to, you know, is always the current, but it's also the fall and, and fish are definitely moving. They're chasing bait. They're trying to eat. There's so much bait on the edge of all this grass. So, you know, I'm throwing the sick fish, the Papa sick fish that really mimics the shad that they're eating really well. Most of them are four to five inch shad that we're seeing swim. And, you know, this thing's chewed up already, but just a, a great way to catch fish in the fall on a swim bait. Water temp, 60 degrees, plenty warm for them to chase and, and hit the bait hard, and they are. It's a good time. That hooks it on a little harder. Oh, he got in the grass. Come on. All right. He hit her. Gosh, he hit like he was a big one. But again, you can see the grass we're fishing. Hydrilla. Uh, this spot is almost 
you can kind of see the seam of the current right there and he was just outside of it so that's all we're doing is just fishing the outside of current areas and just being on the edge of the hydrilla they love the hydrilla right now there's just a, so much shad uh, swimming around that stuff and that's another one on the pop of sick fish but you know water's clear we're throwing the ghost type of color something that's really natural looking and honestly when you see one of the shad swimming by it looks just like this thing so the action phenomenal on this bait and we're already having a good morning big it oh dude i watched that fish eat it oh my gosh <laughs> <clears throat> Wow. <laughs> oh my God. Dude, that thing crushed it. He swam out from under this tree right here, following it the whole way, and I just slowed it up a little bit and finally committed. But early morning, we're way up the river on Gunnersville. You know, the bite's tough on the main lake. and. This time of year, 20 pounds is really good, and, and up here, 15 to 17 pounds is pretty common. Uh, but when you add a couple of these to there, you can get to 20 in a hurry. So, just a, a great fish. We're throwing the Havoc Sick Fish, and dude, how could you not love it? This is so awesome. The main river's right there. This is just a little creek right off of it. And, you know, for me, um, it's just an area where fish are going to transition in and out. Uh, almost like they do on the bridges down the river. You know, you got a lot of fish uh, passing through here and migrating, and you get one like that every now and then, too. Gotta love a bite like that. You know, throwing under that tree, watching that fish come out and just absolutely smoke this bait. Uh, that's one of my favorite ways to catch a bass on a swim bait like that. But, uh, this week, you know, we were using uh, an Abu Garcia Veracity 7.6 Heavy. It's my favorite swim bait rod. I throw almost every single swim bait on it. We're using a 7 to 1 uh, Revo SX with an upgraded handle. And I, I like a 7 to 1 when we're fishing shallow swim baits like this. Deep swim baits, I like a 6 to 4, so keep that in mind. But uh, 17 pound Berkeley Trilene 100% fluorocarbon. Just a fun way to be fishing. So I appreciate you guys checking out this week's vlog. Uh, make sure to check back next week. We're going to have some other great stuff for you. I'm getting back to throwing a swim bait. If you look at this thing, this is a, a Mollux frog. It's called a Super Natto. So this is actually a subsurface wake style bait. Biggie, 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 can't you see? Craig bait in the new uh, TW uh, Delta Red. If you really want to catch fish this fall, you come here in January, February. It's cold everywhere else. I was on a 1.5 at Strike King.